We all know that power is critical to the performance of any tractor in the field or on the road. So what should you do if you think your tractor is low on power? After watching this video, you will be able to identify common causes of low power complaints and identify adjustments needed to resolve these issues. Low power complaints are usually observed through difficulty in maintaining desired ground speed. There can be several possible causes for low power complaints. Let's take a look at those caused by incorrect settings first. Before making any adjustments to the tractor, verify that your implement is set correctly. For example, make sure the depth on the tillage implements is not set too deep, as this could cause low power complaints. Check all relevant implement settings for your application. The second thing to check is to make sure that no SCVs are on that don't need to be on. Adjust detent times just long enough to operate the desired function. SCVs that are deadheaded keep the hydraulic pump at high pressure, which consumes more power. The third thing you need to do is confirm that field cruise is turned off. Field cruise limits maximum engine speed and can make the tractor appear to be low on power if used in a heavy draft application. Operating in full auto or custom modes with a hand throttle or foot throttle at anything less than wide open can also limit engine power. The fourth thing to check is transmission mode. If operating in full auto mode, switch to custom mode and then adjust the droop to the lowest possible setting. This will allow the tractor to downshift sooner and not lug the engine down as much. If the tractor appears to be low on power when going from light areas to tough spots in the field, also increase your eco engine speed in custom mode. This will help the tractor react quicker to those rapidly changing ground conditions. See the E23, E18 transmission operating tips video series for setting the transmission. The next thing you need to check is wheel slip. If slip is below 8%, you need to remove ballast as you are carrying more weight than necessary, which uses more power. See parts one through four in this video series for information on ballasting your tractor correctly. There are also a number of maintenance issues that can cause low power complaints. Restricted air filters and fuel filters are generally the most common maintenance items that can cause low power issues. So check these first. You should also confirm that your diesel fuel is of good quality, does not contain any water, and meets the required properties as spelled out in the operator's manual. Your John Deere dealer also has a family of fuel additive products that can help keep your fuel system in good condition. The last maintenance item to check is the engine cooling system. Make sure the cooling package is clean and the engine is running at the normal operating temperature. A low power condition can also be experienced if the engine is overheating or running too cold. The last thing that you can check is to make sure the tractor is large enough for the job. Use the power meter to view the load on the tractor. If the meter is consistently solid green, then you are operating at more than 75% load and likely overloading the engine. If the meter is not solid green all the time, then the load is about right for the size of the tractor. Correctly matching the size of the load to the size of the tractor is an important part of solving low power complaints. If you have tried all of these tips and are still having troubles, contact your John Deere dealer to see if there is a malfunction that needs to be repaired. Now that you have watched this video, you can identify common causes of low power complaints and identify adjustments needed to resolve them.